Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. Continuing my Hoi 4 Kaiserreich campaign as the Kingdom of Poland. And I'm going to pour myself a drink. Um, in the last episode, some boring things happened. Basically, um, we were not able to form the Commonwealth. That's basically it's not something we can do anymore. Unless something happens with uh, Lithuania? I don't think that's going to happen. So, I don't think they can ask me to become... The Commonwealth. I actually don't know that for a fact, but uh, let's just assume that it's not in the cards, shall we say? Let's just unpause here and see where we stand. Uh, Iran? Okay, so the Socialist Republic of Iran declares war on the Ottomans. So the war against the Ottomans is in full swing, and we have the Axis, or the Cairo Pact, and the Masryk, who just joined and are probably going to get creamed immediately. Ooh, this is new. Paraguay declares war on Argentina. So Argentina is right now at war with Patagonia and Chile. And Paraguay took the opportunity to attack Argentina. They got nine troops and like no manpower. But, you know, their country is covered by this river here. I mean, but it's still too big for nine divisions. He can only fit like one dude per uh, tile there, almost. So I'm not entirely sure how well they can hold, but it... I mean, it means Argentina is going to have to fight on more fronts than uh, just down here. So that's interesting, I suppose. Uh, if there's like a an Axis situation where this, like, Argentina is the, the Ottomans of South America and people are teaming up against them, that's kind of interesting. Wow, even Uruguay has its own tree here. Even though they have fuck all for military power here. Really? They've got a lot of things here. Uruguayan neutrality. Justify war gold time plus 50%. Well, that's not really an issue, is it? Usually it isn't. Um, right, so I was training up my last batch of soldiers here. And we're only lacking the infantry equipment. Really? Okay, we see some Ukrainian troops moving along the border. I don't know why. I'm also thinking about getting some calf, but we'll finish this one first. Because I do want my winged hussars. Like, at least 12 of them to start off with. Uh, Ecuador. So there's a peace between Ecuador and... Oh, they gave up a huge chunk of their land. Really? So, I think they had these three states. And they gave up all of them except for, like, Ecuador proper here. Who has the Galapagos? It's uh, Chile. Really? Chile owns it now? I thought that was a part of Ecuador. Am I wrong? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to Google this. Who controls... Galapagos. Uh, Ecuador. It's, yeah, Ecuador. Annexed them in 1832. That's a history lesson for all of you. Um, that's weird. I don't think they just gave them up uh, before this. It must have been part of the peace deal, but why would Peru care about giving this to Chile? Are they in the same faction? No, they're not. I'm not entirely sure what happened here. Uh, Nepal decided to commit suicide. And industrial expansion. This was civilian factories. I think it was a two or three? Two. Okay, that's good. So we get a boost to industry. We can go over here for some building slots and infrastructure. This would actually put us on eight infrastructure in our capital. Yeah, Warsaw would get plus two, so it would go up to eight. Uh, up to 10. Nice. Okay. Yeah, but... No, we're gonna go for the research slot. Be landed for that. This one is almost done as well. Uh, 26th of November. That's this month. Very nice. Let's go to speed 5. We're still just building up stuff. So there's no reason to... Uh, do this slowly here. Um... We want to swap the support artillery for line artillery at some point. 
but until then, I think this is fine. We're building two of these a day. It's not massive. But if I wanted to change, let me see here. Right now, you require 12 artillery. If I do this, you need 30. Plus 30, that is. No, no, no. 36. And if I do this and do this, it would be 72 artillery. That's a lot of artillery. I mean, just the support ones is 12. Having support artillery is very cheap when it comes to artillery. So we're going to need to improve that quite a bit, our production of artillery. But right now we want guns. Lots and lots of guns. Okay, so we're building the civilian factory. I'm just capping out our capital. Uh, we got 60 in these three. We could finish this one here and get... Yeah, let's actually prioritize that over the civilian one. Uh, this is... Six, five, five, six. Yeah, let's do something like this. We want more military factories than civilians at the moment. Because we do want to get our army set up as fast as we can. And that means guns and artillery. Okay. Right now we're doing this. It feels like the game just slowed down a bit. Um, yes, we got this. We're sticking to social liberals, I think. And this guy here is a paternal autocrat, which is fine. He's, he's a really nice guy here. And we have enough army experience to change some stuff here. I'm thinking if we change you to 20 wide, it's going to cost me 20 army experience. Maybe I'll just wait until we have 20 before we do anything with that. Because right now we're using a lot of manpower in our squads. Uh, that just finished. Uh, Yemen and Egypt ended their hostilities. Okay. Yemen declares war on the Ottoman Empire. So the Yemen, they were a vassal of the Ottomans. And so they're breaking free and declaring war on the Ottomans. Okay. Uh, we could scale this up. Oh, no, we can't. Not unless we are at war. Okay. Fine. Let's just take the infantry equipment boost. Gives us research boost to weapons and equipment, and then soft attack and breakthrough. Yeah. Okay, good. We need five more dudes for this division. I'm gonna swap the color of you to red. And... How long? We're lacking quite a bit of infantry equipment, but uh, it's fine, it's fine. Five more to go. Our stability is quite nice. So having 60% stability... Ooh, let's pause this. Uh, Yosef, the death of Yosef... I don't know how to pronounce this. Pilsudski. Yosef, who has been an influential figure in the Kingdom of Poland since its inception at the end of the World Creek, Passed away in his sleep late last night. Józef had been the face of the Polish military for many years and a strong political activist that many admired. His loss will surely be his loss will surely leave the Polish military weakened and the future of Poland bleaker. I lose a field marshal. Oh no, the mustache guy! Oh man! I'd lost my Jamie Heineman. You bastard. God damn it. Okay, so. The next best option is this guy by far. Career officer, so his promotions are cheap. But his experience gain is slower. Wow, his promotion is going to be really cheap. Everything that I want to get here. But then again, it's only going to cost us command points. Let's unpause this. Uh, we have one trait available to us. I think I'll take the charismatic one. Yeah. We can't give you anything. Indo-Chinese Union lost? Wait, what? Usually they get independence. This time around, though, they got crushed. We can... Um, did they nerf the Indo-Chinese Union? Because when they spawned, usually they just 
completely made the Deutsche Ostasien seem like a nobody. I didn't actually check, so they might have tweaked the Indo-Chinese Union to make it, make it a little bit more difficult to succeed in that. That's interesting. Uh, it seems like the Kingdom of Spain is going to win this. Yeah, you guys must be out of manpower. Almost. You do have Italian and French assistance, but that's not good enough. You guys have the Germans backing you up. Uh, Serbia declares war on Illyria. And that means you declared war on the uh, Austrian Empire. And you don't have Greece alongside you. It's just you, Albania, and Romania. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to go for you. This was a really tough fight for me in the last campaign. A very slow, very grindy fight. And they only have to take your capital and then you die. Because... If you look at the points they have, this is worth one, this is worth one, and Belgrade, their capital, is worth 20. So there are only 22 victory points in uh, all of Serbia, and if you take the capital, they just lose instantly. Done. Uh, two military factories. This was bonus for industry. Um, okay, so we can get the boost here. Yeah, we can take this ahead of time. It's a year ahead of time, but we do have a boost, so it's going to be totally worth it. Okay. Looks like Romania is uh, losing some ground here. But Serbia is holding strong for now. Albania has what? Wait, what? How does Albania have no troops? Are you a puppet? Oh, uh, they must have conquered you or something. Why do you have no troops? Let's keep the doctrine going. Uh, that's weird. Why does Albania have no troops? Weird. The restoration of Vied. Hmm. Albanian kingdom. This has to be a very tough thing to do. Uh, Republicans win Greek referendum. So you are now social conservative. Look at this smug guy. Uh-huh. What's with the eyebrows, though? I mean, seriously. Those are some massive eyebrows. Or maybe it's just because of the way the picture is taken. It looks like the shadow. I don't know. It looks massive, at least. Uh, right, let's get back to Poland, shall we? Um, Romania is losing ground? Yeah. Both of these states belong to him, so he's losing these three. But he's gaining some upper hand over here. If you can hold the mountains, that's very, very good. That's very good defensible terrain. Russia has decided to go to war with the Turkestan Khanate. And Alas Orda is already dead. Or did they remove that? I actually didn't check. They were going to remodel this entire area. So maybe something happened? Uh, what is this? The National Protection Alliance, that's uh, Yunnan. Okay, they've gone to war with you. Interesting. And Mongolia? They should have a CB to go after this. The Khan Cavalry. Interesting, interesting. A lot of interesting things are happening here. Uh, Hyderabad took over over here. So the Princely Federation is dead. Uh, ooh, the Fangtian government is breaking free of Japan. Uh, you've got 50-ish divisions and not a huge amount of manpower. Yeah, it looks like... Who the fuck is this? Chichibu. Chichibu. You're Yasuhito. You are national populist, so this is a fascist guy. Really? Huh. Japan went fascist. That's kind of not alternative history, really. That's uh, proper history, I think. Uh, let's see here. We do have a nice supply of these right now. And yeah, so do we have factories on the way? Yeah, we got two extra ones coming, so that's good. I think I'll put them over here at least. At least one of them. Yeah. So, we're lacking a few guns for this to be finished. 
After that, we can scale up our dudes here. Because if I add the cav right now, it's going to cost us infantry equipment right away. So we don't really want that. Uh, none of this is not improving at all, is it? We should be getting some monthly population, right? Yeah, we're getting 360 dudes every month. Iran pieced out against the Ottomans. Does that mean... Oh yeah, they took the territory. Okay, so the Ottomans lost. And they're going to become Turkey. And there's no uh, Kurdistan? Really? Uh, this should change tags. You should become the... Should you, you should become Turkey. Interesting. So we finished construction. We do have another boost for this one here. Yeah, we got boosts for both of these. I'm thinking... Yeah, cap. Just give me more cap. Very, very nice. So... Saudi Arabia took Medina and Hizyaz. Uh-huh. You guys took, uh, effectively Syria? Yeah. And Iraq has been taken over by Iran. Interesting. And there's no Kurdistan, so that's interesting. And Russia has not gone after the Don Kuban Union, who are actually a part of the Reichspakt, and so is Azerbaijan. Really? I have not seen this. I know Don Kuban is getting guaranteed by Don Kuban, but I don't remember them being a part of the actual faction. So, that's interesting. Okay, Stalova Vola. Done. We got two extra factories there. Uh, two more, and then we get our research slots. So this is production cap by 5, and output by 2.5. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We do have a surplus of guns right about now. That's good. I'm going to do this, and see if we can't import some more stuff right about now. Yeah. Let's get one more import of this. What kind of penalties are we looking at right now? 7.5? 10. That's not a huge penalty. I'd rather have the extra factory to build more stuff. Uh, okay. So, what we want to do is change you to have 20 width on your combat. Uh-huh. So that's going to cost us... We have enough guns for this. So our one cav is going to have a lot more dudes. Okay. And you guys are, have all the equipment you need. I'm going to make you uh, 11. Oh, we don't have the manpower for this. Let's see here. Ah, uh, really? If I make six of you... Yeah, we're gonna have to change some manpower laws and also change our infantry to have line artillery instead of support artillery. That's to scale down the required uh, number of troops. If I do this, we don't have enough. And if I take this away, we still lack, even if I only have one gun. Okay. I uh, will wait with this a bit. Let's try to get a bit more artillery stockpiled before we do this. Yeah, 10% penalty. It's fine. We're making almost three of these a day. This is looking fine, but we are kind of vulnerable here. So Atlanta has fallen. Ooh, so... Atlanta over here has fallen. New Orleans is... Still being held by the AUS, right? It's being held by Sardinia? Oh, right! The Entente is fighting this, and that means the entire Entente, including Sardinia and some of these other places. Fascinating. Uh, and the US is still alive and holding on to Washington. And it seems like the AUS is going to be the first one to kick the bucket here. And they have taken Detroit. Really? Canada has taken Detroit. If they can push up into Chicago... Pause, 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 pause. What is this? 
Uh, you signed a peace deal. That's fine. The German Empire declared war on Lithuania. A nationalist coup in Belarus. After the Welk Creek, the Germans formed a white Russian state in the White Rus, even though the local population could hardly be considered a single nation before. This lack of national identity didn't stop the Germans from imposing their order over the, this country, and this resulted in tensions that have now been released. Prince Sigismund of Belarusia, the leader of the Belarusian nationalist forces in Belarusia, has seized control of the country after the previous king perished in a theater explosion. Okay. Whether Sigismund I will rebel against the Germans or sit hoping that they accept this new order is still hard to tell. So you have declared war on... No, Germany declared war on you because you're rebelling. So you guys are going to get creamed here. Nice flag. Uh, revolt in the Reichspacht. Okay. So they're losing... Yeah, they're losing Lithuania. Lithuhu? And Belarus is also breaking free. Really? They just lost Lithuania and Belarus? And you're in a faction... Lithuanian, Ruthenian... Really? You'd rather join Belarus than me? You assholes. Well, you're gonna get creamed by Germany, I'm sorry. Oh. I, Germany declares war on Belarus, okay, so Ukraine can go up and kill them. Romania has died, so it's only you, uh, Serbia here, against the entire Austrian alliance. Well, you know, Albania is there, but he's got nothing to offer here. He's got one and one factory. He is completely useless. He is not going to be able to help you at all here. Uh-huh. Yeah, say goodbye to uh, Lithuania, guys. And uh, Belarus, for that matter. Uh, is Moscow independent, or do they have a faction? No, they are independent. Okay. Nothing else interesting going on, is there? Uh, Brazil is integralist. Argentina is dying. Wow. Argentina. You did not really stand a chance against this, did you? Uh, let's see here. Lithuania and Belarus will annex both of them by Germany. Yeah, I figured. So let's go ahead and uh, assign all of you to this. Delete both of these. Yeah. Don't mess up my borders. Come on, please release Belarus as well. And you don't have a default focus tree. <gasps> okay, the AUS lost. Okay. But who took all the states? The CSA did. Okay. So, but it's, it's the US and the entire Entente faction against the CSA. And they've already taken Detroit. So, let's see here. Do you have... Ooh, Fengtian government was annexed by Japan. Well, I figured. Uh, I don't really like your chances here, CSA. It seems like the U.S. is going to weather this rebellion, uh, this civil war. Really? And this guy here, Charles Curtis, is actually going to be leading this. I mean, I'm assuming they can, if they can hold on to Washington, they'll be fine. Since Denver got conquered. Denver's this one? Yeah. Okay. So if CSA can take out Washington and retake Detroit, they might be okay. But then again, they still have to fight the entire Entente faction. So I'm not liking their chances there. Okay, so more factories here. Just, yeah, give me more guns. Artillery, that is. Okay, so I was going to change you guys to uh, line artillery. Line artillery. Remove this. So it's going to cost us 20 army experience. Oh, we have enough guns to do this. No, 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 no. So this would mean we're too big. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
remove one dude. If I remove this dude and replace him with artillery, it's going to cost us 10 to do this. Let's just do that. Yeah. So we got some manpower back. Albania has capitulated. Yeah. You didn't really stand a chance. Uh, let's go... Ah, wait. We really should do... No, it's 1939. It's fine. It's fine. We'll continue doing decryption and encryption with this. Uh, I'm thinking we remove you as well. Because the artillery are three wide. So that's fine. So we do get some manpower back doing this. So we still need 15 more. We need to get rid of this one and adding another line artillery. Contemporary assembly lines. Good, good, good. So, our research slot should be next. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so our artillery is not doing great. But it's fine. It's fine. We could actually scale it like this. Yeah. Focus everything you got into artillery. And I think we should import the tungsten at this point. Uh, Portugal, Burma... We'll just take uh, the Deutsch Ostasian, that's fine. So the only thing we're lacking for trade is some aluminum for the support equipment. But that's fine. It's only, it should only be a 5% penalty. Yeah. We're fine. So we're making 4.3 and our cap can double. So we can actually get like 9 a day. Barcelona has fallen and... Spain is now the Kingdom of Spain, and this dude here, Alfonso the Thirteenth, is now in charge here. Uh, Iran has declared war on Saudi Arabia, and that means you declared war on the Cairo Pact, though. Yeah, so... Let's take a look at this. Uh, Saudi Arabia has about 25-ish divisions. You got 15? Uh, you got nothing. Wow! Iran, you don't really stand a chance against them. Yeah, so Iran just sort of committed suicide there. Unlucky for them. So the Cairo Pact is going to get bigger because they're going to get Iran as a puppet. Which is interesting. And they might force them to release, like, something here. Ooh, Uruguay wins the World Cup. Really? Predictably, Uruguay has stormed Thu. Stormed through, there should be an R there, the opposition and gained its fifth championship title and second World Cup title. The Celeste Olympica defeated hosts Brazil 2-0 in the final of the record-setting tournament. While being a strong team and host nation, Uruguay's experienced and talented squad managed to resist Brazil's valiant efforts and win with a goal in each half. And their great skill was recognized by the crowd. Aw, congratulations. So Uruguay down here actually beat Brazil. Man. There's the uh, South African revolt. Okay, that happens. Does it change at all? No, you are not in a faction. Neither one of you. So I'm guessing you left the Entente. Yeah, I'm thinking you left the Entente to have the Civil War. So, South Rhodesia here is also at war. But it's a separate war. Uh, South African Federation. Oh, no, no, no. You guys... South Rhodesia is a puppet of these guys. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, yeah... So we have enough army experience to do some more changes here. I would like to remove this. Ooh, a minister supports his ideology. Let's uh, use our popularity here, the PP, to reduce his influence. We don't want them to get any more party. Death of Felix. Uh, this guy. Is it? Is it this guy here? Nah. It's not him. We'll see who it is. Uh, today, long-time syndicalist agitator Felix was confirmed to have passed overnight from natural causes. The sudden death of one of Poland's most famous and outspoken syndicalist leaders has left the syndicalist movement reeling. Felix had many close allies who could take up his cause, but for now the syndicalist disease within our nation has taken a severe blow. 
I don't know what that means, but totalists go down by five. Um, it's only at two, so it's not a huge increase, but okay, I'll take it. Um, right, do we want to do this? No, I want to get uh, encryption as well. Let's finish both of these, because we're about to get a new research slot when this one finishes. So we'll be good. We'll be good. Uh, do we want to drill you guys at all? Nah. We can just slowly let this tick up and change our divisions to what we want them to be. And you guys are actually fine. It's just that I'm hoping we can make a lot more of these. Because I would like to have some cav, especially if I can get the winged hussars here. I mean, 15% boost is very nice. Yeah. So once we do this, I think I'm gonna finish. The oh no, somebody else died. God damn it, that was. Okay, somebody died. I don't know who it was, but <sighs> I'm gonna have to rewatch that. I hate that I can accidentally click that. I wish it was like one of those things where you have to hover over the button for a few seconds and then click it away. So uh, Serbia and Romania were both annexed, and Albania as well. Aww. So, they lost this fight. That's not surprising. So, Romania, Albania, and Serbia should be become puppets right about now. Uh, right, so we're finishing some of these cav units. I'll just add you to this guy. So, we have... Okay, and you gave Albania Kosovo. Okay, it's fine. And you're now a much scarier uh, beast than you were before. That's not very nice. And... We're almost done with this. Okay, so we got our research slot. Let's go ahead and pick something else to go for. And I'm thinking we want to go down this route and finish this. I at least want to get this clear line of succession done, because it sounds like something we should get before uh, something horrible happens. So this is our extra research slot. Let's go for this, because we're about to get new guns as well. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot more, having four research slots. And you are almost done. You'll be done when? 3rd of September. Okay, we have enough experience to remove the support artillery. Argentina was annexed, and Paraguay took two states, and Patagonia took 11. It looks like they're creating a puppet. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Thank you. That should give you a bit more artillery. Yeah, we're positive on artillery. Very nice. And then we want to add artillery, and then we want to add some shovels to these guys later. Right? Yes. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and pause it here. So, a lot of interesting things have happened, like... Um, Iran committed suicide by attacking the Cairo Pact after they wiped out uh, the Ottomans. Uh, Serbia and the Belgrade Pact has been wiped out. Um, Princely Federation died to this, to Hyderabad. And yeah, some interesting things have been happening around the world, like the fact that the CSA might actually lose and the US will stand victorious against this. Which is just weird. And there are some things happening in ooh, South America. Argentine communes. So they are actually syndicalists? No, they're totalists. Really? And they have... They're a puppet of Chile. Really? Really? Okay, so Argentina is a puppet of Chile. That is... Um, weird. These guys are populists. There's some weird things happening in South America, like Ecuador being like a nobody. We'll have to see what happens in that. But we're done for today. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.